In early February 2021, we were graced with Valheim on Steam, and this is one of the reasons why Cyberpunk 2077 has taken a back seat from me, and I kind of got sucked into this black hole. But if you want to play Valheim with friends and you don't have a dedicated online server, I'm going to show you an easy way how you can share your world folder with your friends. So if you're away doing things, they can play and build, mine for resources and hunt for the next boss. My name's Mike, you're watching Deconstructing the Game. Let's get to it. Okay, so let's say you want to play Valheim with a group of friends that you're really close with and you have a full-time job, your schedules don't match up and you enjoy playing the game together so you want to keep a server in place. But maybe sometimes the group of friends that you have wants to play together and you're at work or vice versa and there's no way to share that server or game file between you um, unless the, the host player is active um, there is a way around that so the first thing that you want to do is on the home Valheim screen there is a show player log icon so if you click on the icon it will pull up your file path to Valheim you'll have wherever it is stored in your system all the file paths will be showed on your Windows desktop there and you'll have characters worlds and all the text files that are required to run the game. If you go into the worlds folder, you'll see all of the worlds that you have created on your system because the way the Valheim uh, servers work if you're playing with friends is if you have created a world, you, your world is the host server and all the data is stored on your system. And the only way for other people to play that world is by joining your server that you've created for your friends but this is the way to get around that. So what you wanna do is you want to copy your server or your world that you want to share with your friends into your OneDrive. So if you create a specified folder in your OneDrive called Valheim or whatever you wanna call it and copy all of your worlds into there, the worlds that you want to share, it will be available on your OneDrive online and you'll see it pop up here. If you want to share this folder with your friends, all you have to do is right click on the folder, click share, and then type in their email address, and that will send them a link to this folder only. Don't worry about uh, your privacy or any of your other folders. All your other folders will be safe. It'll just be the contents of the share folder that you've shared via the link that are available to them. So don't worry about your privacy. If you're not too friendly with people, but you still like playing with them, you can have this option as well. The only thing you have to bear in mind that if someone was to go into this, copy the files into their computer, and then start playing the game with friends, they would have to update this folder on your OneDrive. And all they have to do is the same process, click on the player log, copy the files over and use that link enter your OneDrive and dump the files into there. Everyone has access to the OneDrive system if you've shared a link and everyone can copy and paste the files into that. So the best way this would work is for example, you know, the host player is away or doesn't want to play but everyone else does. All they have to do is go into the OneDrive folder, download onto their system and then they can play and then update it as required. There are other ways you can update this. You can use uh, Dropbox. You can probably share the files over Facebook Messenger or uh, WhatsApp Messenger, depending on how big the file is and how much allowance you have on your app. But this is certainly the easiest way I found on OneDrive. It's, uh, it's convenient. Everyone has a good way of playing because if you are the host, log off the game, everyone who is playing with you gets kicked off the server as well and then they basically have to play a different map. So if you enjoy playing on the same map and you enjoy playing with those friends and you're happy for them to build things in that map, mine for resources and hunt around and explore the map, you can give them access and you can all enjoy the, the game as a unit and you can all develop that map 
as time goes on. But just bear in mind that every time you finish playing Valheim, you're going to have to go into your files and update the OneDrive folder just in case anybody wants to play the updated version. And the best way to kind of help yourself with that is create a shortcut on your desktop. You can just click on that shortcut and copy and paste the files straight into your OneDrive. And if your friends are doing it, they would have to use the link. But as long as that file is kept up to date, everyone should be in the right place and you'll be able to continue your game where you left off. So that is a quick and easy way how you can share your Valheim world. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video guys and as always, I'll catch you later.